you know, I know they're going to be, you know, rowdy in there, man. I, I've, I've been a part of some of the loudest nights <laughs> um, in that arena, so I know it's not going to be the friendliest welcome, but like I said, I can't wait to see the people that I really built relationships with uh, over my time there. And, um, you know, I'm sure fans that I got to know during my time playing there, uh, even if even though they might not cheer for me out loud, I'll give them a wink and they, and they know what we have deep down inside. Last month you were quoted in USA Today as saying that the perceived tension between you and Russell Westbrook and your old team, yeah. the word you used was fake drama. What, what leads you to kind of compartmentalize it that way and look at it that way? I realized that early on in the season I was doing an interview with someone and I used to work on selfish describing my teammates um, here. The Warriors and um, someone asked um, Russell a question, asked if he heard what I said about being unselfish, and he phrased the question as if I was saying that the Thunder and their organization and the team was selfish. And um, once I heard that, I was like, well, they, they, they're trying to get in between this thing and, and make it bigger than what it is. You know, obviously, Russell wasn't going to hear that interview I had about me just talking about my teammates I have now. And you know, and someone in Oklahoma City phrases to him as if I, were, I was calling them selfish. So, you know, it's that easy. It's that easy for um, the media to twist something up and for the media to, you know, uh, you know, make a feud between us.